Hello everybody and welcome to my channel 1111 Butterfly Effect where transformation happens, knowledge is power, and the divine is at work. Thank you all for joining my divine spirit and I here at the table for some weekly wisdom for this twin flame connection. Yes, we're asking my Divine Spirit and the Oracles to join us here at the table for some weekly wisdom for the Twin Flame Connection. A little bit of guidance and direction focus for the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine. Those on this Twin Flame journey uh, could always use a little help, right? A little help from my friends. Okay. Um, on today's message, if I can get it open here, ah, I'm going to use. There we go. Um, my very own zodiac rune sets. Um, uh, charged and blessed. Uh, they are this full set of zodiac plus it includes the four elements fire water earth and air and um, they also come in magnets Let me turn that around magnets uh, like for your refrigerator or your marker board right so you can find those on the website, which is just about done, redone, reorganized since the crash. So on that note, let me just pull. I think the I think the moon just went into the Capricorn. So let's see if we can pull out without much damage Capricorn here uh, na, na, na. I think that's Capricorn let me see here Sagittarius Virgo these are real cool to use uh, during your readings if you want to pull some specific energy for your clients and such and they come in nice little sashes, sachet, sachet um, bags. They're hand painted on River Rock. And um, again, like I said, they are blessed and charged uh, and ready to go for you. And you can purchase those on the website. Uh, for a small token and donation. So here we're pulled out what we need for today's message. Because I do believe the moon just went into Capricorn. Was just in Sagittarius, but now I believe as of sometime this evening, around 8, sometime around 8 p.m., uh, Pacific time, Pacific Coast time. Uh, it went in, the moon went into Capricorn. So, enough on that, and let's get to today's weekly wisdom oracle message for the Twin Flame Connection for the week of April 13th through the 17th of 2020. So, we're going to. Set these two aside, which are uh, for our main message. We're going to be using the Sacred Traveler Oracle Deck by Denise Lynn. Fairly new deck that we're using here, my Divine Spirit and I. And for some confirmation and clarity... We are using one of my two decks, my very own decks, one of two that are in development right now. Uh, there's a lot involved in getting your decks to print. This one is the Twin Flame Connection, the InSync Twin Flame Connection Oracle Deck. InSync 
Twin Flame Connection Oracle Deck by yours truly. And we're going to have some final words by the Romance Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. And all that information will be in the description box below the name of this video. If you'd like to see that uh, information, hear that information again, that's where you'll find it along with much, much more information. So let's get to today's weekly wisdom message. Twin Flame Connection for the week of April 13th through the 17th of 2020. I hope everyone enjoyed their holiday weekend. <clears throat> no matter how it was spent, if uh, you are doing well and your family members are doing well, then I would say it was spent well done, right? And let's just uh, keep in mind and say a little thought of uh, prayer meditation for those being directly affected by this pandemic that seems to be maybe losing speed. So let's keep our thoughts positive and focused on the end and eradication of this pandemic uh, situation right don't even want to say it and give it power right all right back to today's weekly wisdom for the twin flame connection please my divine spirit and the sacred traveler traveler oracle please join us at the table and offer us up a message and some direction for the week ahead for the divine this divine connection it's like the cards are getting warmed up here real quick. Yes, my Divine Spirit and Sacred Traveler or Oracle, please join us here at the table and offer us up a message, some weekly wisdom and direction and guidance for the week ahead. Okay. Looks like we're good to go here. Maybe a couple more shuffles. Go this route here. So, in a lot of cases, things are moving forward quite quickly. I mean, just uh, the scenario here is uh, we're already in April of 2020. Number one. Number two, this pandemic thing's already been going on for. Uh, as far as the dramatic changes for over a month uh, to society as a whole. So let's see what changes ahead are for this twin flame connection between the divine feminine and the divine masculine. What do we have to focus on, look forward to what's coming up in the week ahead Please, my Divine Spirit and the Sacred Traveler Oracle offers up the guidance and direction this Divine Connection needs. Thank you. Here we go. Let's see if any drop. These particular cards are meant to actually be read a little differently. So we got three that popped out. So, something needs to be said here, right? <laughs> Overall energy bottom of the deck, surrendering to the journey, release control, surrendering to the journey, release control, yeah, on the boat, set and sail, heading out, right, into the unknown, ready to roll, 
Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. What's the rest of it? <laughs> right. So, overall energy, surrendering to the journey, release control. Then we have first light, protected by angels, and mystic healer. Interesting wisdom for the week ahead here. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. And, uh... <clears throat> beginning a new cycle. You are cherished by the angels and healing energy flows through you. Okay, very interesting direction for the week ahead. Ending up with us surrendering to the journey. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. It brings me back to the A's, okay? Surrendering is allowing. When you allow it, you accept it. When you accept it, you accept the divine connection and you align with the divine. The divine itself your divine self and your divine partner. You're going to attract your divine partner when you align with the divine, which also is your abundance. Your partner, your divine partner is a part of your abundance, okay? It's late, I'm a little tired, but the A's have it, truly. Okay, like I always say, Surrendering to the journey is allowing it and accepting it. Aligning with the divine. Right? Mr. Keeler here. So, let's get into this real quick. We're already at 12 minutes. First light. Beginning a new cycle. A new day has begun in your life. You're at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. Wipe the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. You know, wow, these are the seasons, winter, summer, spring, and fall. Everything has its season, okay? Things end and things begin. Winter, the leaves fall off the trees and fall. In winter, you know, things go into hibernation and die off. And then in spring, you know, rebirth, the birth of the new love, you know, spring love, right? Summer harvest. Everything has its season, okay? What season are you at right now? Right? Well, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you're at the brink of, or you have begun your new beginning. Okay? If there's anything that's blocking you or that needs to be healed, it's what? Familiar routine, situations, and relationships that no longer empower you. That's what. Let go of anything that does not serve you so that a new beginning can begin. Right? Current circumstance. Particular challenge. 
possibly right here. So what is the action we need to take? Right? <clears throat> a new day and a new cycle has begun. For sure. Okay? Sometimes, you know, it's about going into the unknown. Surrendering to the journey. Okay? Let go of control. Right? In the cycle of life, the plant die in the autumn so there can be new rebirth in the spring. The sun rises and the sun sets. It's the, un, it's the universal dance of death and rebirth. There's a time to end and begin. In your life, it's the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. Face fear about the unknown and be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. So Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, <clears throat> move forward. Okay? The old season is over. Winter is over. Spring has begun. Okay? New beginnings are hatching here. New cycles are beginning. Seeds are sprouting and growing. Okay? Seeds have been planted now they're sprouting and starting to grow so that there will be a harvest in the summer, right? And how do we get there? How do we get to that harvest in the summer? Well, for one, we're protected by angels. So that means we got to have faith in the plan, right? Surrender to the plan, to the journey, to the divine plan. I'd say that's part of it. Protected by angels. You are cherished by the angels. Have faith, in other words, okay? Surrender to the plan. Let go of control. Let it go so it can flow, okay? And you'll reach your destination. <clears throat> You are blessed. Immense blessings from above are showering over your life. The angelic realm is only a thought away. Angelic intervention is available to you all the time. Simply be open and you will feel their presence. This is the time to spread your wings and soar. You are so protected and so very safe. Now, that doesn't mean go out and go uh, crazy and, and uh, expose yourself to this pandemic uh, virus. No. We're talking in a, in, a, you know, in a deeper level here right now, okay? So don't misinterpret that. Now's the time to spread your wings and soar. You are protected and so very safe. So the steps that you take to move forward, okay, now the seeds are planted and, the, and they're blooming, they're sprouting and blooming above dirt. Okay? Follow your intuition. Step into your higher self. Okay? Sometimes it might seem that you can't see the road ahead, but have faith that you're that by your side are shimmering angels supporting and guiding you in unseen ways. Right? It's like a pretty badass angel there watching over you. Sword in hand, but down, ready to help and protect. Watch for the signs, especially in the form of feathers. There is a sacred plan for your life. Your life is guided. The angelic message is that you are going in the right direction and everything is unfolding exactly as it should be. When you receive this card, 
It can also mean that you're an angelic. You are an angelic healing force for others because the light within you is so very bright. Wow. So, you know, move forward in faith and trust the plan, divine feminine, divine masculine, okay? <clears throat> because there is a divine plan. This twin flame journey is a divine plan and you are protected by the angels. It's okay to move forward in this. And that will bring you what? You know? Surrendering to the journey. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Crossing bridges. I mean, it's going to take you places. And you're going to enjoy it. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Okay? But uh, first, you know, once you open up and have faith in the plan and surrender to the journey, you know, that's going to strengthen you when you're walking in your higher self and it's going to bring out your gifts. Healing energy flows through you. Part of the plan. And, and that's why you're chosen to use your gifts for the higher good to you know, move forward in your mission. <clears throat> divine feminine and divine masculine. I'm missing this here. Where is it? Mystic healer. So. Let go so it can flow, right? Everything has its season. And if you do that, you will move forward in this divine connection on this twin flame journey. You are protected. It, it's all part of the plan. It's unfolding as it should be. Moving you forward to inner and outer healing on all levels. Okay? A situation, relationship, or physical challenge is being resolved. Have faith that it's happening. This is the time to find the source of challenges. Transform inner grievances. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. You are a healing force for others, even if you're not aware of it. There are times when the traveler steps off the path to search for a mystic, the mystic healer. The healer instructs that everything in, excuse me, everything in nature has the intri intrinsic ability to restore itself. And remind you that you also have this power ability within you. We're all healers. Truly. We can all really ultimately heal ourselves. We just set our minds to it. I was healing my tummy aches when I was a kid. Right? Didn't want to have to wait. I did it myself. Didn't always work, right? But I learned. <clears throat> hmm. For healing to occur on the outside, it's essential for healing to occur on the inner planes. To do this, med meditate by visualizing, visualize, visualizing a beautiful virtual future for yourself. And trust that recovery is on the way. Past life issues may be emerging in order to be released. Mystic healers are working with you to resolve emotional and physical challenges. Be patient and have faith that beneath the surface, all is well. Divine is with you. You have people on both realms here in the 3D and in the 5D. In the ethers, helping you, healing you. Look, there's a little owl right there. Sharing wisdom and knowledge with you. The divine light is surrounding you and protecting you, okay? Totally protected. 
protected by angels, right? Pretty good direction for this divine connection, I'd say. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see what kind of confirmation clarity we can get for this uh, Sacred Traveler Oracle message for today's weekly wisdom for the Twin Flame Connection. So, indeed... You know, things are moving forward here for this particular group I'm channeling for in the collective. It's about to have union. Some might be a little bit behind and are still healing or just planting the seeds for them to grow. And some have planted the seeds already and now they're sprouting and growing. It's springtime. Love is in the air. Okay, you're moving forward, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. You're trusting the Divine Plan. You're following your intuition. Okay, you're surrendering to the journey. Even though there's unknowns out there, you're trusting the plan. And because of that, you're walking in your higher self. And you're healing. You're not just healing yourself, but you're healing those around you. You're just emitting it. Okay? It hits people as you walk in the room. Boom! <laughs> All right? Boom! It's true! It's true. Just test it out, okay? Walk in your higher, walk as in your higher self. And walk into a room and see how people react. See how many heads turn just at the vibration you're emitting. When you're walking in your higher self and you're vibrating at a higher level. It turns heads. Okay? People don't... They feel it. So that it turns their head. What's coming in that door? Right? What's in my space? I feel it. They turn around and look. Take a look. Do an experiment and comment about it, okay? Now, if you're vibrating at a lower level, that's, of course, that's what you're going to attract. So just uh, pay attention at what you're putting out there, okay? All right. Do a little bit of shuffling here. Thank you, my Divine Spirit. Please, my Divine Spirit and the Oracles, join us here at the table for some clarity and confirmation for this Weekly Wisdom Twin Flame Connection Oracle message via the Sacred Traveler Oracle. Confirm this, please, my Divine Spirit and the Oracles. Okay, I will cut the deck. Okie dokie. <sighs> Top three cards. Offer. 39. Someone's bringing an offer to the table. And 39, that is a 12 that breaks down to a 3, which is a sacred number. Okay. It's source, divine feminine, divine masculine, actually. It's divine and the sacred union. One, two, and three. Summer, 23. That breaks down to a five, which means change. Okay. So, by summertime, at the latest... You, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculines, might be receiving or giving this offer if it doesn't happen before. 
at the latest by summer. I mean, at this rate, we may be in lockdown that long, right? God forbid it doesn't go past summer, but, uh, you know, it, it may. If we let this continue and, and feed the fear, right? We need to start feeding the love and the eradication of it, right? Last card here. Clarity and confirmation. There is regret. Somebody's having regret. And, uh, you know, I don't want to have any more regret in my life. How, how about you? But guess what? It's a 27. And that breaks down to a 9. Which means something's coming to an end. Completion. Okay? Somebody doesn't want to have any more regret. No more regret. The end of regret. Which means forward movement. Confirming this traveler, sacred traveler's message, right? Divine masculine, divine feminine, you know, you've done the work, planted the seeds, they're sprouting now, time to move forward in this. <clears throat> Finish your healing, right? Surrender to the journey and move forward. So that you don't have any more regret. Definitely confirmation here. You know, somebody's bringing an offer to the table. Are you ready to accept it? And if not before, it'll be by summer. If all goes as planned and continues to unfold as is set, written in the stars via this divine connection. Now everybody has their own willpower, so we can change our destiny. With one small decision, we can change things, okay? That's why we have to be careful what we do and what we say. Okay? Especially when we're at an ascended level, walking as our higher self. I mean, we're our master manifestors, and we can manifest immediate stuff. So we have to be careful that it is for the good of all, our higher self, and for all. Or, it, you know, it could get us into trouble, right? Bottom of the deck, the answer is yes. 25, which breaks down to a 7, which is one holy number, sacred number, okay? The answer is yes. Sacred union is what I'm saying. Let's see what the romance angels have to say about that. Are they going to confirm that for us? Thank you, my divine spirit and the oracles, the divine oracles, for the messages and the weekly wisdom guidance. Please now, my divine spirit and the romance angels oracle, join us here at the table for some final words, some final word confirmation about this twin flame connection. And the direction this journey is taking, right? The answer is yes to what, my divine spirit? What direction is this journey going in? Please, my divine spirit, one card. Please, two, if you can. And three is all we need to complete this message. Final word. Thank you. Soulmate pops out first. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh, got another one. 
time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Honest, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. It's time, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, just to lay it all out on the table. The offer's on the table. Everything else, you know, that needs to be said can be said. And, you know, it doesn't need to be all hashed out in one minute. Right? Baby steps. Right? It all starts with communication. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Okay? This is your soulmate. It's time to honestly discuss your feelings with each other. This, this divine connection, I've been saying for a minute, needs... <coughs> excuse me. It's time alone so it can talk. That's why I'm so dry here. I'm trying to let this card pop before I get a drink of water. Stop the motion here. One more card, please, my divine spirit and romance angel cards. Thank you. Is that everything? Oh, one more card popped out. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay, so be patient. Don't muck it up and you won't have any regrets. No more regrets, right? So this is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Divine feminine, divine masculine. So listen up, pay attention, follow your intuition. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Unconditional love. The highest vibration of everything. You want to raise your frequency? Love unconditionally. Okay? That's what you do on this twin flame journey. Okay? is you love unconditionally. You love your divine partner, divine feminine, divine masculine, without condition, as is, right? No questions. Undying, forever, right? Definitely. The answer is yes. It is safe for you to love and to be loved. Definite confirmation there. Let go of control issues. It's sane. Okay. Let it go so it can flow. Right? Everything has its season. Things need to end so new beginnings can begin. Right? Offers on the table. This is your soulmate. Hmm? This is a divine connection and it's protected by the angels. It's time for that heart to heart conversation because it's okay. To be loved. And it's okay for you to love. Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. So reach out. You know. Things can get started while we're in lockdown. While we're in isolation. You know, conversations can take place. Heart to heart conversations can begin. We can, you know. Text, online, direct message, social media, phone calls. Then you plan to meet in the park or for coffee somewhere that you can stand six feet away <laughs> and say hello. <laughs> Laughing aside, you know, this is worth waiting for. This divine connection, this twin flame journey is worth waiting for, okay? Divine timing is at work here. So, if 
follow your intuition, pay attention, listen to what's going on around you, pay attention to your signs, and you won't muck it up. You surrender this journey, trust in the divine plan, okay? Let me get my pointer. You're being led, okay? Divine has your back, right? There's the owl, the moon, and the light, okay? Your path is lit, well lit. Have faith, okay? The journey may look tough, but you know what? The path is clear. There are no obstacles, okay? So have faith in the plan. You gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Yeah, gotta have faith, the faith, the faith. Absolutely. All right, you guys, I hope this is resonating for you. Please, if it does, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for joining my Divine Spirit and I here at the table. Um, definitely some interesting weekly wisdom for the week ahead for this Twin Flame connection. And you know what? It feels good. Yeah. It feels good. Da 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 da. It feels good. Yeah. Thanks a lot, you guys. Till next time. Take care.